So I recently stumbled across a Twitter page, and I, I don't know her name. It was a 14-year-old who was protesting for the climate and is worrying about climate change. Now, I thought I should make a video about this. I'm 15 years old. I'm promoting freedom. I'm trying to attack these organizations like the World Economic Forum, World Health Organization, who are attacking our freedoms and democracy and everything alongside it, BlackRock. I'm standing against this, and I obviously oppose the climate narrative and the climate agenda because I believe it's a bunch of lies fabricate hoax to push communism and control and power and taxes more now I thought I would share a message don't know if you'll watch it but you can you can see what I think so I just, I just thought I relate to this because we're both sort of activists if you want to call it that you know I, I sometimes think like oh, I'm like the, the freedom I'm like Greta Thunberg but not the state puppet I'm like the a fighter of the state, but whatever. So yeah. Now, we both sort of believe the same thing. I want to say, you're being played. If you're watching this, you're being played. We both believe there's evil people in the world. That's one thing. There's evil people in the world. There is selfish people in the world. Big industries aren't here to help us, and they probably are going to harm us or the planet for their own self-gain. We believe the exact same thing. Here's what you've been fooled to believe, though. You've been fooled to believe that the only industry that has any power, you believe the entire elite, is just big oil. Big oil exists. There is big oil companies. I'm sure they collude. I'm sure they don't pay their taxes. Fine. They're only 1% of the elite. You're forgetting the other 99% of the elite. You, you get these climate protests, you're saying, big oil controls the world. There's such a small fact, there's such a small subsector of the elite. The rest of the elite actually talk about the entire opposite. They're not paying anyone to disprove the climate narrative. They're doing the very exact opposite. Because if you heard the other 99% of the elite, I want you to name some of the biggest governmental organizations that you could think of. Two come to mind. The United Nations, the UN, and the World Economic Forum. What do they push? Climate change. No, they, they, they attack oil. People, people are always speaking on there saying we need to replace it with electricity, renewables, sustainable, sustainable energy. I thought there was a conspiracy to basically destroy the planet. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it in the governmental organizations front. The World Economic Forum is literally labeled like the place of the elite. This is where the elite meet. I don't hear anyone talking about oil. They're always talking about climate change and how to control us, and that what systems they should push forward to do this and tackle climate change. Where else? Where did you initially hear about climate change? Because I'll say, I'm roughly the same age. You know, I heard about it in school. I believed it. I believed it for a good minimum three years. I was probably eight years old when they told me about it. If you, if there was a major conspiracy going on about climate change, they probably wouldn't be teaching us in school about climate change and the dangers of it. I was scared into believing the world was going to end. I, I, I genuinely didn't think I would grow old. I thought the world would end by 2040. I'm not even exaggerating anything. I genuinely believed this. I was sitting there with my National Geographic magazine thinking I love nature and I want to move to Finland because they're the most progressive country in the world and they care about climate change. All this, I genuinely believe this. You know, I thought, you know, the government is part of the elite class. So why are the government pushing the climate change narrative and not the oil, the big oil companies narrative? But th this is me proving the point that the conspiracy is not the 1% of the elite, the oil, big oil companies saying climate change is all a bunch of lies. 99% of the elite are saying climate change is true and we need all these different systems in place to, you know, stop it. The world's biggest investment companies that control corporations, BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard. What are they promoting? The climate narrative. You can say, no, they're not. What's ESG? Environmental, social, and governmental. Environment and government together. That's collusion. They're talking about corporations mixing with the governmental goals, cor public, private, corporate and state, fascism. The fascists are promoting the environmentalism that is going on. The, the, these are the richest people in the world. BlackRock alone has about half of the amount of wealth in the entire of America. And yet we're and yet they're the ones pushing the oil narrative. I mean, they're the ones pushing the climate change narrative. It's the banks too. It's MasterCard. MasterCard were making a carbon tracker to track how much carbon you're doing. The, a, a Dutch banking CEO, Barbara Barsma at the World Economic Forum, is talking about how we need carbon wallets so they can restrict how much, so they can give us allocations for how much carbon emissions we can be personally 
responsible for it. And of course, the rich can buy it off people who weren't going to use it all. The rich can fly as much as they want. Essentially, just finding loopholes to try and do what they want whilst controlling all of us. Classism. It's the lobbyists that are pushing this climate narrative. What else is it? It's the Rockefeller Foundation pushing the climate protest organizations like Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion, Greenpeace. It's these, I mean, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Rockefellers is quite literally a definition of the elite. The, 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 one of the, yeah, they're, they're part of these families that have a lot of power and wealth. You know, the, the, that's the definition of the elite. If you think of the elite, you might think of the Rockefellers. They're pushing the climate narrative. You might ask, why do they want to do this? Well, we've seen Sadiq Khan's organization, C40 Cities, and they openly put on their website that they want to remove all meat and dairy by 2030. All cars, they didn't say electric, they didn't say petrol and diesel, just all cars by 2030. They want to have clothing rations so that you can only buy so many items of clothing per year and you can have one short haul flight every one or two years, I can't remember, one or every two years I think. That's why they're doing it. And I just said, MasterCard, these banking companies, the banks, and the World Economic Forum, the UN are all talking about central bank digital currencies and digital ID, and they want to restrict how much carbon emissions you can be personally responsible for. This is what they're doing it for, it's for control and power. You know, the Dutch government is seizing their farmland. Canada have have a carbon tax right now. This is a thing that already exists, a carbon tax. It's about money and power, as I just said. Controlling the means of production, like the farmland. It's a great shame that these children who care about the environment and enjoy nature, you know, they like forestry and all these things, that they love animals, it's like they're sucked in. It's kind of like a sales pitch, it's like a, a sales funnel. Not a sales funnel, is it's, you know, you promote your thing, you try to make, you try to get people into it, and once they click on the website, they get taken into this long funnel, and then they're trapped, they're going to buy your product. It's kind of like that, you know, it's, so they see, oh, young kids, oh, you're interested in nature, you like the environment, you want to do good for the planet and the world. Well, actually, this planet and world you love so much is going to end by 2040. So give away your freedoms now and fight for, fight, fight for us. Become our puppets. Do what we want you to do. Push this climate narrative. This is what it means to be an environmentalist. You cannot be an environmentalist and oppose the climate narrative. The climate narrative is environmentalism. This is what caring about the planet really is. So they've created, you, you cannot be young, enjoy nature, care about the environment, and not become a communist who's trying to fight to take everyone else's freedoms away. It's disgusting. Like, this is the proof it's a conspiracy, really. They're taking all these young people in. And I, it, they should be ashamed, really. It's like, you know, you know all those animals you like? Well, they're going to all die unless you save the planet. And saving the planet requires giving us more power. It's... You need to understand that. It, we're not that big. We're just people. Perhaps we have 5%. Maybe humans contribute 5% to climate change. I don't know. Just think for a second. Why on earth would... would why would why on earth would carbon dioxide, the gas of life, destroy the planet? There's been more of it before and it was colder. There's been more of it before and it was hotter. It's been hotter and life's been good. It's really not as simple as they, as they put it. Oh, if, if, the, if the planet goes from one degree, if two degrees up, it's famine and the whole world is going to end. No, the earth is adapted to change. People have adapted to change all the time. Warmer periods are better. I don't know if it's going to get warmer. We're recovering from ice age. Perhaps we've almost recovered now and it's going to stop. But they'll keep pushing it. They'll keep talking about this. It doesn't matter. Even if it does stop, even if we go lower, you still skew the data. Because... They are only saying it per, per year it's increasing by 0.05%. Very, very easy to skew that data. I really pray that you find the truth. You don't have to come to the other side. Keep enjoying keep enjoying environmentalism, but understand that the planet, the entire planet isn't going to become destroyed. The information you're getting is likely coming from, one way or another, people that are pushing central bank digital currency systems to control us. Just do, do your research of where, where this information is coming from. And you'll probably find the truth. Long live freedom.